guys, we're live in the living room, right? Me. Where do you want to move it? Move right here. You guys. want it right here? Yeah. Look, our chairs become one chair if we put them too close to you. Yeah. There you go. What up, guys? We're live in the living room. Uh, just changing the setup spot. And uh, hi, guys. Sorry, we're late. That was the first live stream we ever. Sorry, to me. <laughs> Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Ma, you ready to have a good time? Yeah. You showing them your belly, you silly dude. Um, yeah, we just a quick adjustment to the hi, live stream. So, hi, you call them kids, right? Yeah. What's up, kids? What up, but uh, can't. I'll get the chat going. I have the chat going right here. I think I have it right here. I wonder what my living room looks like, guys. Welcome to it. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. I was like, why is my computer not working? It's just connected to the wrong Wi-Fi. Now it's connected to the right Wi-Fi. Boom. Guys, so we're going heli snowboarding. Not tomorrow, the next day. So it's gonna be super sick. We're really excited for the heli snowboarding. I wanna put this in a way where I'm not looking down the whole time, but I don't know if that's gonna be possible. So, uh, Philip said, hit my first 180 on a box yesterday. This is my second account, or second season boarding. Dude, Philip, already crushing it, dude. That's so awesome. And then, there we go. That's what I wanna do. Sorry right, guys. Sometimes I plan a live stream, I'm like, I'm ready to rock. No, I'm not ready at all. But uh, Chuck Vans here, El Stagger's here. What up, Jacob, Jaden, Miles, Will, Chris, Jordan, Brew is here, of course, Philip, Evan Block in the house. What up, Evan? How you been, buddy? Sean Oz. Just showed up as well. Big shout out to Sean. He's letting me borrow the Insta360 ONE X2 uh, for the heli trip. I have one coming my way. It just hasn't come in the mail yet. So Sean's gonna let me uh, rip that. And we just got a donation on Venmo. No way. Jeez. From Austin Waver. He says, yeah, you're just a he dropped a $5 donation on Venmo, dude. Thank you so much. He says, we're reading a donation. You ready? It says, you're just a positive influence uh, in the world and my life. Thank you, brother. Dude, Austin, I'm so stoked to, to be an influence on, on you and, and many people on the channel. And I'm just a dude trying my best. I got my kid hanging on my back during this live stream. And I have no idea how it's going to go, but we're going we're gonna to send it, dude. So thank you so much, man. And... Uh, that five dollars goes way further than you know, so thank you so much. What is that noise you're making? I have a shopping. You're an elephant. What? I am an elephant. I think we got another donation. No, nope. or maybe it wasn't Streamlabs. Sorry, I gotta log into my Streamlabs still. Baby on the side. He likes to choke me like this. I was like, <laughs> Will you be boarding Penn or West Virginia this season? <laughs> no noises like that. The kids don't like to hear that those screams. It hurts their ears. So we talk like a normal Roman. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, I will not be going to to uh, West Virginia this season. That's probably gonna be a next season thing. And then Jordan Brew with a dollar donation on Streamlabs, dude. Thank you so much for the donation. He said, uh, today is a day for the donations. Dude, thank you so much, Jordan. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope today is the day for the donations. That'd be sick. Okay, so now I got those pulled up. I don't have my normal setup going on. So uh, if I miss a donation, I apologize about that. I won't, I'll do my best so I don't miss them. 
And uh, as you can tell, it's already the Roman show. You guys tell me you like it when it's the Roman show. There we go, my way. There we go. There we go, Daddy. And then Royce dropped a uh, New Zealand five dollars on the the chat. It says skier from New Zealand. Uh, thanks for keeping stoked during the off season, dude. Stoked to have your back on the uh, the off season. I really hope to get to New Zealand this summer. I'd be really sick if we can make that possible. But there's there's no guarantee. Ah, uh, for that. But I'm stoked that well, you're enjoying the videos, man. I can see, I can see Do you want to tell them your knock knock joke? Tell knock, me. Knock knock jokes. Okay, so I say it. Go knock knock. Knock knock. Who's there? Roman Buckhouse. Roman Buckhouse. Who? Roman Buckhouse. <laughs> That's such a funny joke, dude. Yeah. You're so funny. That is a knock knock joke. <laughs> and then oh, we just had two. We just said. Two Streamlab donations fly in. Uh, D. Leifer, thank you so much for the $14 donation on Streamlabs. Remember, you should gotta settle down. Remember? Daddy, give me, Daddy, give me pizza out of me. You want pizza? Yeah. We don't have any pizza made yet. Daddy, give me a donut out of me. You want some of the donut? Yeah. Okay, I can get you some of the donut. Uh, D. Leifer said, here's the two, or here's two more stickers to give away this week. Love the help out each week. No way, D. Leifer. Thank you so much, man. Uh, always dropping the sticker giveaways. We'll drop the, we'll give, we'll give those stickers away here in a second. Uh, Justin dropped a five dollar donation on Streamlabs as well. He says, "I'm going to Keystone tomorrow. Will you be there too?" No. So tomorrow we're snowboarding Lee's Ski Hill down in O'Ray, Colorado. I believe it's like one of the smallest ski resorts in the United States, and it's in Colorado. I'm really excited to go rip that place. It's called Lee's Ski Resort. So it's gonna be a ton of fun. You wanna hear the TV? I had to mute the TV, Bubba's. Uh, JT Blonde dropped a $5 donation. He said, hey, uh, I greatly enjoy your channel and you're such a fun, upbeat person. Uh, you make my day always, dude. JT Blonde, I'm so stoked that I make your day. Help you guys get at least like a 10 to 15 minute break every single day with my videos. And then when I go live, an hour, possibly two hour long break. So heck yeah. Thank you so much for that $5 donation on Streamlabs. It means the world to me. And uh, stoked to, to bring you some stoke every single day. The heli trip stoke is gonna be next level too. So I'm really excited for that. And then we had some, uh, I'm gonna get to these Super Chats, and then we're gonna give two uh, black evolution stickers away, is what we're gonna give away today. I don't think we've given away a black one. I don't think Daddy, we just... turn the lights off. Hey, why'd you turn the lights off? Yeah, can't see the kids uh, Seth Hardy with a $5 uh, Super Chat, dude. Thank you so much, bro. He says, love the content, keep it up. Seth, I will definitely keep it up. That is my goal, guys, to keep bringing you guys daily snowboard content until I cannot edit anymore. Um, nah, I'm, I'm joking, but we, the daily grind is, I feel like is important. I definitely try to keep bringing you guys videos every single day um, because I think it's possible. Like I don't, I, I've worked a job. I've worked at Target as a high up manager. I've worked for Frito-Lay and ran full blown chip routes and everything. Like to me, that's true work into this is like, it's enjoyable, it's fun. Like the least I can do is bring a video every day. So uh, Jonah uh, Benna with a $5 super chat as well says, I'm bad at spinning 270s onto a rail. I think it may be just that I don't uh, like the feeling of turning my back to the rails. Do you have any advice? So Jonah, 270s are so hard. And even I'm sometimes I'm like, do I really want to throw this like cab 27? I have cab 27, front 27. I don't have uh, back 270 or uh, switch, switch back 270. Because they're terrifying. I don't have any hard way 270s either. The thing with 270s is you, I think if you do a lot of 180s, so if you want to do a cab 27, or maybe you probably try in front 270, you said you want to put your back to the, the rail. Um, do a bunch of front side 180s onto the rail. Front side 180, front side 180, front side 180. And then do front side 180, get on the rail. And then once you're on the rail, swivel to the rest of the 270 and keep doing that. So you're going to front side 180 on, swivel to the, to the front board going down. And then eventually you're just gonna come, have to commit. Every snowboard trick has, and even ski trick has this little window of like, 
here we go. Like, suck it up, buttercup, you gotta send it. Um, and you gotta risk your body a little bit. So uh, that's what, what happens. All right, so Roman, tell me when to stop. Stop. Oh, I was all over the place. All right, Roman, tell me when to stop. Stop. All right, Owen. Owen Car Carvenero, I. you won an evolution sticker. You need to email me your full name and address. What are you not even saying words right now? Email me your full name and address so I can send you that black. Also put black sticker in that email. All right, Roman, you ready? Yeah. Tell me when. What? Right now? Yeah. All right. Sorry, the chat jumped on me. It just took time. We got Caddy26 Gallo Girl. Hi, Daddy. I can see Daddy. This is what it's like having a three year old. <laughs> Caddy, you won the evolution sticker, black evolution sticker. So email me your full black name sticker. and address, and you will. And not black sticker. And write black <laughs> sticker in there, too. And I'll get you that sticker, sticker. sent out your way. Not Thank you so much, guys, uh, for supporting the channel. And I'm, not black sticker. Uh, I think it's so sick. Dealey has been giving away not stickers on the live sticker. streams. And, not um, black sticker. Not black sticker. You're killing me, dude. You need to chill. Why don't you go? You want the donut? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you the donut. Let me get the little dude donut real quick. All right, we're back. Little dude's got. It's not a donut, it's called Kringle. It's a Wisconsin pastry, and it's amazing. We busted it out for the Packer game, which rip. And uh, Kenny, dude, with a dollar donation, our boy Kenny Shellnut is the one that made the intense um, map of showing you guys where we've gone snowboarding, which a bunch of new ones in Colorado are gonna be turning green. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, this is what I'm talking about. If you check out this link right here, It'll take you to a map of all the ski resorts in Colorado or in the United States that we've gone riding to. And if you hover over the spots that we've gone, it it um will like show the videos where we've been and stuff. It's it's insane. Kenny is a beast and he made that. And it's like the coolest thing ever. All right, we got Chris Marshall with a $5 super chat. Chris, thank you so much for the donation. Thanks for all you do. This skier is flying from Detroit to Telluride this weekend. Dude. Tell you ride, Chris, just got so much snow. You're gonna have an incredible time. The whole bottom San Juan's kind of got dumped on. I know Wolf Creek got a bunch. That's the best part about this silver uh, tin trip, the heli snowboarding. They just got five feet of snow and they've been closed. So they've got five feet of snow, they've been closed. They're gonna open up on Thursday and we're the first to get into that five feet of snow on the heli day. That's why we're super stoked. So um, yeah, Chris, you're gonna have an incredible time at uh At Silverton, or at Telluride. Telluride, I went to Telluride last year, uh, and then we went to Silverton after riding Telluride, and that, um, we had an insane pow day at Telluride, but it, that, I, I love Telluride. Like, I was like blown away at how good that mountain is. What up, Breezy? Uh, Ricky Bobby, coming back, dropping another $10 donation, sharing some of that first place uh, prize money. Ricky Bobby, thank you so much. Said, hey man, I just went uh, out for the first time with my wife, had a blast working on the basics, but loving it. Uh, we're going out first resort this weekend. Any good advice before we leave the Bunny Hill? Yeah, Ricky. So once again, starting on the Bunny Hill is the proper way to do it. You want to make sure you always start if you're a beginner snowboarder at the right spot. So then when you're going to gonna upgrade, check the map. Go ask one of the like the information people like hey like what's the next best run the easiest run depending on which resort you go to and they're going to say hey this is like the next step from the bunny hill it's going to be a little longer maybe a little steeper but it's not much more and so you're going to really enjoy repping that and so that's what you're going to want to do 
um, is find one of those people to help you, but stay in the green. Like don't go on a blue, don't go on a black. Stay within your means, because uh, once again, there's nothing like losing confidence. So right now you're confident. You're like, we're, we're doing good. We got the basics. We feel like we're ready to get off the bunny hill. Well, you don't want to catch an edge and, or like run into like a really steep section and lose that confidence. So slow progression, Lo loss of confidence is a real thing. I know um, my ribs, like my front boards after falling and, and busting my rib, like I, I kind of lost some confidence in that trick. I'm working on getting it back, but it happens. Um, like, I used to be able to hand plant. I don't know if you guys know that. I could throw, like, I used to be able to throw the sickest hand plants. Lost it. It's gone. I don't know where it went. We'll try and find it. We'll try and get it back, you know? But, um, like, losing confidence in tricks or or just in your riding in general is possible and can happen. Jason with the $10 super chat. And also, I don't know if I said it, but uh, uh, Ricky Bobby, thanks for the $10. And then Jason also dropped the $10 super chat. Jason, thank you so much. Uh, he says, I'm 47 and I've been snowboarding for just a year. I've been watching your videos for a few years. You inspired me to try first box slide Saturday. Thank you so much. Dude, 47 and still sending it. I love that so much. So many people like to be like, I'm old, I can't do anything. And they're like, I'm how old are you? They're like 40. I'm like, dude, Tom Brady just beat my Packers and he's going to the Super Bowl and he's 40, what, three or something? Like, age is a mindset. Um, I mean, obviously as I get older, I'll, I'll truly know that. But uh, Jason, I'm stoked that you're still sending it, man. And I, I'm not calling you old in any way, but uh, I love it so much, man. You just did your first board slide on your first year um, for a few years. I've, or Yeah, so waiting for just over a year. That's insane, doing board slides already. Shout out to Jason for sending it. All right, we did get some Streamlabs donations. Let's check those out. And if you see the little blue bar right there, guys, I don't know if you guys see that. It has my Venmo and my Streamlabs. It's two ways to donate. I have those two options because YouTube takes 30% of the Super Chats. So if you want to drop a donation, you want me to get 100% of that donation, uh, you can use one of those links. How's your donut? Good. Is it good? Thanks for eating your lunch too, or your dinner. Jordan Brew with that dollar donation, he says, if I got an evolution tattoo, would it be worthy of a sticker shout out? 100% Jordan Brew. Anyone that gets an evolution tattoo, I will 100% give you a shout out. Uh, Dawson Peace with a $2 donation on Streamlabs says, um, How's it been going recently? It's been going pretty good. And then Justin1816 with a $3 donation says, uh, it was too bad that the Packers got, or the Packers, Packers lost. Go, Feel bad, man. Lost. Yeah, I'm super bummed about the I'm Packers loss because we had every chance to win. And we lost that game. That's why I'm I'm bummed about it. Three picks, or three interceptions. Pick. So we got two interceptions and we went three and out right I'm after them. You're not going to win a football game that way. It's just... It's just the yeah, way it is. Bop. Grandma's in the chat. She says, hi, Roman. Yeah. Say hi, Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Miss you. Miss you. See you soon. See you soon. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Austin with the $2 donation says, uh, John Tahoe, John Tahoe, six to eight feet soon. Sure you can't make it? Awesome, dude, that's insane. Now I've been in Tahoe for those big, insane couple foot snow to storms. <laughs> Tends to be a little like Sierra cementy, like a little thick. Um, but sometimes you can get the big dumps and it'd still be nice and soft. Um, it's just, California's still pretty locked down with COVID and everything, it makes a trip out there hard. We ended up canceling our Tahoe trip. So we'll see, maybe we'll get out there. And then Switch Pro 13 is back again with a two dollar donation. Switch Pro, what's up? Yeah, back again. You just fart. Um. This is so. So everyone. Ha hey, 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 settle down. So everyone has their camera face, and this little wine thing he's doing is his camera voice. Cause he doesn't talk like this normally, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, where is Roman? This is for him. So Switch Pro gave you a. Let's Roman and Can you say thank you, Switch Pro? Thank you, Switch Pro. For the two dollars. Two dollars. Mm. 
And then genuine shelf with a dollar donation, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> you need to chill, dude. What up, Nolan? <laughs> and he's gone. <laughs> Uh, sorry, where was I? Genuine Shelf with a dollar donation. Thank you so much. And then also Austin came in with his notorious $2 donation. Austin, dude, thank you so much for the $2, bro. Um, I always drop in the, the $2 love and I appreciate it so much. Let's double check Venmo. So, uh, Tommy Berzin with a $10 super or Venmo donation. Dude, thank you so much for the support. He says, love supporting you, Jonathan. Hopefully one day we'll be able, or we'll be pumping out Buckhouse snowboards. Keep thriving and hey, keep ride Big Bear. Dude, I wanna pump out Buckhouse snowboards. I have a, I literally designed, I had my buddy Sean design a sick uh, pro model snowboard. We're having a little bit of hiccups getting that stuff because of COVID obviously is causing hiccups with it, but the board's designed. I'd love to release three. No, Sean, we're not showing them yet. Uh, I'd love to release three board designs, or I'd like to sell three snowboards every year. I think if we could have a powder board, the a, a jib snowball. board, I and a camber board, snowball. that's what I'd love to sell every year. Okay, right let's show here, them. Daddy. All right, let's show them. Come up here. Yeah. Roman brought this to me to show you guys. Come, come tell them about it. Here. Yeah, where's your sticker? Is that Roman's sticker right there? Yeah, that's no more Roman right here, Daddy. No more Roman right here. All right, so this is Daddy. Yeah. And then who's this? Roman. That's Roman, the skier? Yeah. I thought Roman was the monkey. Yeah, Roman the monkey. Or is Roman this monkey, and that's your new baby sister? That's a new baby sister. Where's Mommy? Mommy right here. Yeah, that's Mommy just walking right there. Yeah, up for the pool. We don't know who these two other people are. That one's Benton the skier? Yeah. Benton's the skier. That's yeah. who it is. What's this thing? Daddy, that moves the snowboard backwards or forwards? This moves the snowboard backwards or forwards? Yeah. You're so smart. What is this thing? Daddy, that's the track of the books like this. It traps your foot in? Yeah. Can you show me how it works? You push it like this. Like this? Yeah. And then, and then what? You do this. Oh, like that? No way. What are these called? These are boards. Bindings. Bindings. And this is your snowboard. Yeah, that is my snowboard. Roman snowboard right here. Yeah, thanks for sharing that with the kids. Yeah. All right, we're going to put it right here now, okay? And you can keep playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just me and the little dude hanging out today, by the way. So um, thank you guys for having patience with him being three years old. <laughs> and then, dude, Jason Hotchkiss with a huge $25 Venmo donation, dude. Thank you so much. He says, as a follow-up, when did my first box, uh, when I did my first box slide, I slipped and the slammed my back, or wicked hard. I actually broke my back T12 compression fracture. So painful, but no regrets. Jason, no, dude, I hate hearing that, man. Thank you so much for the $25 donation, but oh, I can't believe you broke your back. If you get the confidence and you send it again, what happened is when you went to go to your board slide, you got scared and you leaned backwards, which caused you to go onto your heel side edge, which slipped you out. When you do anything on a box, guys, 50-50 board slide, hi, daddy, hi, daddy, hi, daddy, hi, daddy. any of it, can I see your, I'm gonna grab your snowboard. When you do any board slide, your snowboard needs to be completely flat. If you get on that heel side edge like this, the box is the box is super flat. So if you get on, so we want to slide it flat, but if you get on the edge, it's gonna swoop and you're gonna eat it. So stay flat when you rip a board slide. If it is boring, it might want to fall down. Yeah, yeah. Bleh, it might fall down too when he tries it like that. And then Dakota with a $10 Venmo. Thank you so much for the donation. Keep, uh, Dakota said, keep doing what you're doing. You're an inspiration. I appreciate that so much. It's cool because that's what 
my purpose is behind this. Like, obviously it's sick to snowboard and yeah, I wanna help you guys become better snowboarders, but like, when I grew up, my dad was just stationed in Hawaii and then stationed overseas. Like, my dad wasn't around. And so the guys in my church, the older guys that were in their 20s, took me snowboarding when I was 11 for the first time. And I was like, dude, what? These cool dudes wanna take me snowboarding? And after that moment, I was like, yo, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a snowboarder. And it was like kind of, like I was like a kid being like, when I grow up, I'm gonna be a, a snowboarder. Like that's what I wanted to be. And so not only have I accomplished that and I snowboard for a living, which is incredible, but I am, uh, I get to also inspire other people to want to be snowboarders, hopefully, the kids, even adults out there. And, and that's cool, because like that meant the world to me is to grow up and become a snowboarder. All right, so uh, Justin816 said, uh, it was bad that the Packers uh, lost. I feel bad. Oh, wait, no, I, I, that wasn't it. Sorry, I already read that one. Casey Yars, hold on. Yeah, okay. Casey Yars with a dollar donation said, yo, what up, Jonathan? Uh, you should try going to Brian's head. It's not uh, bad there. Thank you for making my day. No, Casey, dude, thanks for making my day. Thank you for the dollar donation as well. I've heard of Brian Head. Where is Brian Head? What state is Brian Head in? I've definitely heard of that resort. Dun, dun, dun. So I double check. I definitely missed some super chats. So here we go. And then Switch Pro 13 said, you're welcome. And here's some for you, Jonathan. Dude, Switch Pro, thank you so much for the donation, the $2 donation. And then uh, watch, watch Dak, Dak Lock, uh with a $4 super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. He says, have you ever been to Lake Tahoe? It's amazing. So I've been to Lake Tahoe, but I've only snowboarded Kirkwood, Heavenly, and North Star. The next time we get out to Tahoe, we're riding the other ski resorts in the area. I want to I wanna ride them all, you know? So that's gonna be sick. Is Roman X Games bound? Dawson with a $3 super chat um, said, uh, that's up to Roman. If Roman wants to, if that's his passion in life, that's what he wants to do, you know I'm gonna support that and help him in any way possible to go to the X Games. If Roman doesn't like snowboarding at all and doesn't wanna do it, that's also fine. But also if Roman likes skiing or Roman likes drawing or something, whatever his passion is, like that's what I'm gonna support and push for that kid. Um, obviously I love snowboarding and obviously I'm giving him a huge advantage, um, in life being able to snowboard already at three, he's gone like 20 something times and more than the average person goes in their entire life. And so, um, we'll see. It's up to that kid. X Games is about to go down too. Uh, Jordan Brew with a $2 donation, my man. He says, I landed my first rail one and a half weeks ago. Uh, I ate it also, dude. I ate it yesterday. Eating it, it doesn't go away. You're gonna eat it all the time. Um, and so, yeah, I, I ate it really hard yesterday. I actually had to go to the chiropractor and get my neck worked on. Um, some cool doors for body recovery are opening and um, Summit Chiropractic and Rehabilitation, I plugged it in yesterday's video. Um, they're, they're sponsoring me now, which is really cool. And so when I get hurt or something weird happens and I'm like, yo, I'm getting this crazy neck pain, whatever, they're like, come on in. And then they crank my neck and they do all this stuff. Um, so big shout out to those guys. You'll be seeing me plug them often because what they're doing for me is incredible. But they, what they do is also designed for their impact. How do I want to say this? They're meant for impact recovery. So if you have a slam, you guys can go see them and they can help you recover from that impact quicker, almost like NFL players. Tickle, tickle. Mommy sleeping? Okay, quiet, quiet. Uh, Tommy Richards with a $5 donation, dude. Thank you so much, man, for uh, dropping the five bucks, supporting the dream. He says, super sick to hear you have a summer camp at Hood. Gonna be there, or gonna do everything in my power to go. Ew. I'm not a ewer, I'm a, I'm a ewer. Dude, Tommy, I hope you can make it to summer camp so bad. We already have three people signed up for summer camp. There's only 20 spots. I want to plug summer camp, but I don't want to do it with this kid ripping on my head. <laughs> we're at the we're at the body slam, mom again. Okay. 
Okay. Go, oh, careful, careful. You don't want to knock anything over. Stay over here. So summer camp, it's in June. I can, let me, I'll tell you guys. Oh, first off, I'm gonna give you the link. If you want to check out, do, nope, 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 nope. You're gonna get hurt. He almost plugged this into the wall outlet. Oh my goodness. That will electrocute you. And then you get hurt. Okay. And we don't plug things into the wall, okay? Okay. okay. Not till you're older. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about summer camp. <laughs> Here is the link to, to summer camp if you want to sign up for it. So not only is summer camp, at, in, so it's at, Mount, bleh, 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 it's at Mount Hood in Oregon in June. The weeks are, let me, let me f open um, summer camp myself so I don't say anything wrong. Okay, so week one of summer camp is June 6th through the 12th. And then week two of summer camp is June 13th through the 19th. So there's two weeks of camp, only 10 people per week. So um, if you're not, if you don't show up and, or if you don't book it in time, you could lose your spot. I do have a payment plan option this year. So you can pay straight up for summer camp. It's $2,500. That covers all of your, it covers the Airbnb. So where you're going to stay, all of your food, the transportation from the Airbnb to the mountain. It covers all of the activities, all of your lift tickets and the coaching. The only thing it doesn't cover is your flight to Oregon and your transportation from the airport to the Airbnb. Other than that, I got you covered. You just show up and I'm taking you to all the cool places. I'm having all the, like showing you guys how to have fun and where to, the, the coaching. And it's, it's so fun. Like snowboarding at hood is insane. Now, Obviously, $2,500 is a ton of money, so there is a payment plan option. It's three months of $2,500 divided by three, and that's how, um, if you can't fork up that money straight up, that's an option. The other thing with camp is there is one option as well, and that's to just do on-snow coaching. That's also on the website. So here, let's put this on the floor if you're going to play with it. It's on snow coaching. So if you live in Oregon, I know a ton of you guys live in Oregon and watch the channel. You can still come to summer camp, but you can like stay in your house and, and do everything. The on snow coaching is I'll just cover your lift tickets and all the coaching. And that's, so that is an option. Also, there's places to camp in Oregon and stuff. So those are, those are options for you as well. And that's the only time we'll, how do I, what's the word I'm looking for? Exceed the 10 person limit is on snow if we get someone that's gonna do like their own camping and they're just gonna show up for the, the coaching, we'll exceed that 10 person limit. The reason why we have a 10 person limit is we can only sleep 10 people in the Airbnb. Uh, Jordan Brew with a $2 donation said, would you sing your outro? Uh, would mean a lot to the voice chat. <laughs> oh, dude, Jordan's always trolling me on these live streams. Um, should I sing my outro? Look, man, I'm not a singer. <laughs> uh, Dylan with a dollar donation uh, on Streamlabs, dude. Thank you so much. He says, any plans to ride Keystone February 17th through the 23rd? Uh, my new Burton Flying V and Cartel Bindings arrived today. So stoked. Hope Ski Doc will be in town. Ski Doc will be in town. I won't be in town, sadly, um, but you're gonna have a ton of fun. Burton Flying V, definitely hit up the Ski Doctor, get that tuned up before you start riding out here because it will make your, it's a performance enhancer. It will make your time out here on the snow so much better, so do it. And then uh, Justin Caniff dropped a $5 Venmo donation, dude. Thank you so much. He says, I've been snowboarding for four years, been to Winter Park, Breck, and Keystone. Any advice? or any advice on jumps, just starting them. Uh, you have to come to Stevens Springs Resort in Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. It's nice. Your videos have been a huge help for me. Let's go, dude. I'm so happy that the videos have helped you. Don't go this way with it. There's no room. No. Come this way. Uh, so so that the videos have been an inspiration for you, man, helping you. Now, advice on jumps. It is always, always, always better to go deeper than it is to land short. Hitting a knuckle is terrible and it will it will rock you. So um, take the jump as deep as you can. 
Um, then, and even like the, it'll be so hard for you to overshoot the jump where you don't hit the landing at, at most resorts, especially if you're on the East Coast. It is possible, and obviously we don't want to do that, but but send it. And then the other thing is you want to be approaching the jump stacked. You don't want to be leaning back. If you're leaning back and approaching that jump, what's going to happen is as that jump starts going up, it's going to kick your feet above your head and you're going to land on your back. Um, obviously, to start with the appropriate size jump, you don't need to be sending a 25-foot jump for the first time if you've never hit jumps before. Make sure you're hitting like a 5-foot to 10-foot uh, long jump, and that will be a big big game changer for you. I don't know if everyone's on board in the chat right now or if everyone's spamming. Lewis is back. Everyone's telling me to sing. Do I not sing? Uh, Roman, you want to sing? Come, come here, Roman. Let's sing. Sing. Come here. Can you sing a song? Sing a, sing a song. Sing a, sing a song. You want to sing Daddy's song? Yeah. Jump up here. Jump up here. Jump it up here. Are right, you ready? Yeah. Oops. Hey, my volume's off. Yeah. I'm on top of the ocean. Living like life ain't frozen. <laughs> I'm on top of the ocean. Was that cheating? Did I, I sang it. Sing it. My mom sing it. Sorry, my butt is down here. Did I see my butt down um, here? M Lemon with the ten dollar donation, dude. Thank you so much on Streamlabs. I got hot eye. Oh, it gotta hurt me. Oh. oh, well, you're hanging off the table like a crazy person. Yeah. Jordan Bruce said, I love it. I love Where are you going it. this week? So, Rev, so the plans for this week are we're going down to it. Silverton tomorrow. We're stopping at Lee's Ski Resort. Not clubbing me. In O'Ray. Me not a me. And me not a baby. You're not a baby? Yeah. Why are you screaming like a baby? I want to not scream a baby. All right, can you count to four? Ah, give me my gown. Oh, I squished you? Sorry. Can you count to four? Four, three. No. Spider truck Remember, stop. Remember, we go one, two, three, go. Go. Tickle, tickle. Tickle. Daddy. You need to go in America's Got Talent, right? I feel like I'd crush the singing. How do you think about step on bindings? Well, Sean Oz is in the chat. And I wanted to make this video prior to leaving on this trip, but Sean. All right, we're back. Literally, Benton just called me on the live stream. I'm, ah, oh, that kid kills me. That my kid. Sorry for the lag and the buffer. That was 100% Benton's fault. Um, so tomorrow we're going down to Lee's Ski Resort in O'Ray, Colorado. Oh, we're talking about the step-ons. Uh, yeah, so Sean. Sean Oz has a pair of step-ons he's going to let me borrow. Sean's in the chat right now. Best tattoo artist in Summit County. Give me this tattoo right here. So somebody... He's gone. We're getting rid of him. Go play. Uh, summoning tattoo. If you need a tattoo, Sean is the man. Best tattoo artist I've ever seen. And he... Uh, Um, he's got burn step-ons. I'm going to make a burn step-on video for you. I'll answer all the burn step-on questions in that video. We will rip some park in this, in the, whatever. Oh, you pocket dialed me, whatever, Benton. And I don't want your $2 donation. Can I delete this? Get out of here, Benton. Just for that, Benton lost three lines in the next video. He's not even going to be in it. Boom. Uh, Toasted Bun said, hey, I met you on the lift. Let's go, dude. When are you going to Crystal Mountain in Washington, Bryce? The Washington trip is 
the February 11th through the 16th, and we will be, um, I don't know which day we're riding Crystal, but we're 100% riding Crystal when we head out, head out there. Uh, what up, El Stagger? How you been, man? Uh, where are you going? I'm going to... Dude, Omar, we're going to um, Silverton tomorrow. It's going to be incredible. Sah Sahib, I think I just butchered your name, my dude. Thank you so much for the $5 donation on uh, the Super Chat. $5 Super Chat. Sorry, my brain. He says, do you think the DC Flash boots are any good? I tried to get the Van or OGs, but they're sold out everywhere. Please help. So the tough thing with boots is they're different for every single person because everybody has different feet. I honestly have no information on the DC Flash boots, but what I do know about snowboard boots is if you snowboard like 20 or more days a season, maybe go a, like a little size down or get it to where your feet are kind of touching the boot because your boots are going to pack out. Every pair of snowboard boot packs out. Since I snowboard 100 plus days in my snowboard boots, I got I went two sizes small. I ended up having to go into female snowboard boots to get boots to fit me. And so, um, so they're like super duper packed out. So if you go maybe four or five times a season, you can get probably get away with rocking boots that exactly fit your foot. And that's kind of like my advice on buying boots. Um, once again, it, it's different for every single person. Everybody has a different foot. And so, yeah. So Roman's jumping on his trampoline. So we got, went to Target and Target had um, like an online order returned and it's like a trampoline and the trampoline sold out everywhere. It's like a foldable, collapsible, seven foot wide trampoline with a net. And when you, when you order something online at Target, if it's returned, it goes automatically 50% off. And so I, uh, so we got it. We're like, dude, this is the best price we can get this trampoline. We obviously want to get Roman trampoline and we're not trying to be in this apartment forever. Our goal for the whole season is to get a house, get out of this place. It's actually what I'm working on a ton right now is trying to find, it's <laughs> trying to tell banks that I make money on YouTube is tricky, but, um, so he's got this chair, like if you can't tell, we have vaulted ceilings. So in his room, his room's like 90% a trampoline right now. But it's so when I go on trips and stuff and Bobby's with a Roman by herself, she can, he could just jump all his energy away. How is jumping? There's a dungeon up here to me. No, you don't need to get on the table. You can sit on the chair. You want to show him your book? No, I need to get up here to uh, my set right here. Casp, Casp. Casper the ghost? Casper? Casper is a kosher? Casper the ghost. Yeah. Casper There's always that ghost. one word that I should know and I don't. Casper the ghost daddy? No, you can't be on the table because you shake the camera a bunch. So shake? We can read, yeah, we can read the book right here, though. You want to show him? No. Right? This is the show of hide and seek. You want to play hide and seek and not show them? Yeah. It is a book about hide and seek. And then Jordan Brew coming in with another two dollar donation, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, it says crazy that, stuff that at Mall of America. Daddy quick. Oh. Daddy. You want to sit on Daddy? Yeah. Oh. I'll my butt. Right. There we go. So Silverton's in the bot. So if you Colorado is a square, and so Silverton's in the bottom left corner of Colorado Daddy, in the San the Juan's, the and they just got five feet. Sorry, Rum's shaking the crap out of the camera. They just got five feet of snow, which is insane. So uh, we're, and they're closed. Really right so here. Silverton is cl ah. closed sun, uh, Monday through Thursday. No, th Sunday, Monday through Wednesday. So they've been closed and they just got five feet of snow. So they open up on Thursday and that's the first day we're going back. And so we're Daddy going heli snowboarding in five feet of snow. Me, then move this far away and read a book of me. Diamond bottle like a daddy. Oh, you're moving everything? Yeah, here on me. Well, there's our vacuum. Come on, vacuum. Hi. <laughs> they might switch. Omar's going to Silverton in February. That's going to be so sick, dude. Like a 
Stop. Toasted buns. I think it's saying that you found my channel after seeing me. Do you want me to? Sh what? Are you going to read the book? All right, read the book. What's up with me? What's up with the white shavers and the little me sparks? That's really good reading. Whoa! Uh, it's Caden said when you come into Snow Bowl, um, I am not sure, but I don't, I don't want to get in the, the, we can get, we get trapped in these like, when are you coming, where are you going, like, have you been here type conversation. So where I'm going to leave it like this, I've announced all my trips already. If you want to see where I've been or, and everything. Um, check out this website right here. It has a list of our boy Kenny Shellnut, who has a YouTube channel. Check it out. Um, it has a list of everywhere I've gone, or like a little map, and you can hover over where I've gone and watch those videos. So if I've gone to your ski resort, you can see it. It's really sick. Um, the only trip I really want to talk about is the Silverton trip, and we will be going to Washington. I just haven't, I don't have anything planned on it, um, other than my little brother Ben's going with me. The person I started the YouTube channel with, and it's gonna be a really good time. Treasure. Uh, Jordan Brew with another two dollar donation said, "I'm waiting for my next payday for a sweatshirt." Let's go, dude! Warmest merch in the game. I'm not even actually watching it or repping it. We're wearing the Pearl Wax shirt right now. Pearlwax.com. Save twenty percent off first. all of your wax stop with Buck Twenty first. code Buck Twenty on Pearlwax.com. Save yourself stop some money on some wax. Prince. I have to talk to my friends. Because the friends make it so we can get Roman books. Do you like your books? I want to show this. Okay, you want to show them your book? Yeah. You want to stand up and we can show them your cool book? Let's do it. They're going to like it. I bet you they'll like your cool book. All right, ready? Can they Can they see it? Yeah. So what happens when we open this? It opens right here. Pick a boo. What is that? It's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. Oh, don't rip it. All right, let's show them the next one. All right, friends, you ready? Yeah. go away. You want to come over this way? Yeah. Okay. Then that's Oh, you want to show them the dolphin again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, put this. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. I'm a dolphin. Yeah. You're flashing. All right, let's show them the next one. Yeah. What's in the shell? Is that a hermit crab? Do you have hermit crabs? Yeah. yeah. I guess it's, it's it, yeah, it's story time. Get everyone get cozy in their beds. <laughs> get cozy in the bed. Get cozy in your beds. Cream City Skiing dropped a three dollar. Sorry guys. 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 Why don't you go take your book to the trampoline again? Go read on the trampoline. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Cream City Skiing with a $3 super chat, dude. Thank you so much. He says, uh, how come you haven't been using Outdoor Masters? All right, Cream City, that is announcing this week. So be ready, Cream City. I'm not gonna, I'm sorry. I know you dropped the donation and you want that answer, but just wait. Just wait. It's coming. It's coming this week. It's been filmed. Of course, here I go to, I go and film a project video and Benton makes the whole video about himself. You guys see, you'll see. You'll see. And then uh, Black, Blackie J. Willie with a $5 super chat, dude. Thank you so much for the donation. He says, no question. Just keep up the great content and keep being awesome dad to that little one. Dude, uh, uh, Blakey, dude, thank you so much, man, for the donation. And I will. Like, that little dude's my favorite person ever. Uh, obviously, it's on a live stream. And I'd like to sit down and talk with you guys. But, dude, when he bombs it, it's like he's only going to be three this year, you know, like every day he gets older and, and becomes more of a big person. But before we know it, he's gonna be like, my dad's so weird. He goes live and like, he ain't gonna care to be on this live stream. So, um, we'll enjoy it. We'll enjoy the moments. That's what I've always told myself as a dad. And if you are a dad out there, you're going to become a dad. Enjoy the moments. Cause they don't last forever. Like when he calls me in his room, it's like, dad, there's a monster. I'm scared. Like, I'm like, no way. What? I'm scared too. Let me get in this bed. Like I'm like, when we pretend to be scared, those moments won't last forever. He will become an adult and he'll be out of the house and stuff. So I'm, I take it one day at a time with that little man. 
Can I buy your signature board? That's the plan, the island boy. And that's why it hasn't, I'm not riding it yet. I had the opportunity, I have the opportunity to just get on the snowboard and ride it like I am currently with mine. But I don't wanna do that and not have it available for you. So I have this really awesome design, pro model board, I designed it, it's super sick. Buddy Sean Oz, who's in the chat, drew it for me, Sean's the man. But I don't wanna announce it until you guys can also buy it. So I think it's sick. I designed it so you guys could get it and it will help you become a better snowboarder. Uh, it's Cade, uh, by the way, says, for me, whenever I go snowboarding, I always rent boots because my foot still growing. Do you recommend that? Yeah, I think that's a great idea. If you're if you're a young kid and you're growing, and um, there, there's no reason to purchase gear if you're only going a couple times. If you go like 50 times a, a season, then that's going to cost a lot of money. But you can also rent boots the whole year. Like some some ski shops rent gear all season long, so that's an option for you as well. Shauna says, uh, I wish I had all the means to make videos like this when, with Zane when I was little, Jonathan. Uh, your favorite videos will be the ones you made with Roman. They really are my favorite videos. My favorite, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it in the chat. Hey, ouch. Come and show me your zoo video. Yes, I'm gonna say the zoo. I think this is the great, like my best yeah. edit ever, by the way. And so, if you guys could watch this video, it would mean the world to me. It's only at 950 views, and I know we don't have too many people on the live stream, but this is my favorite video I've ever made. Like, hands down by far, this is my, I think, with the editing and the storytelling and everything, and I just, I mean, I filmed this, so I know what went into it. This is my favorite video. Some people have asked me, like, what's your favorite video you've made? This is it. It's not a snowboard video. It's this video right here. So check it out. Um, and then toasted buns with the $5 donation, dude. Thank you so much, man. The chairlift dude. He said, hey man, love the content and love what you're doing. My name is uh, Titus. T Titus? I hope I said that right. If that rings a bell and you sh uh, showed me a new tree route in Monarch. Oh, you're, you're all the way back in Monarch. That was last year. <laughs> Uh, Toasted Buns, the craziest thing is last year when I was in Mardark, 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 we were also, hey, no yelling. We were, we were also headed to Silverton um, to go heliboarding again. So that's so sick. We're not hitting Monarch on our way down this time though. We're hitting Lee's. Come on, Daddy. Come on, Daddy. Lee's Ski Hill. It's. I can't wait to, to experience that place. Our boy Daniel showed us that place. Daddy's talking to his friends for a little bit longer. We're not gonna. Go, we're not doing a two-hour live long stream tonight. Jello arms. Jello arms. Daddy, wanna go with me? Where do you want me to go? You wanna go in Roman's room? We'll go in Roman's room later. You want more donut? I'll get you a little bit more donut. Thank you, Miss Wade. Miss Wade, you get up here. No, you don't need to get up here. I got it right here. There you go. Yeah, settle down, my dude. Settle down. All right, let's find a good spot to start. A good question. Um, Lobby says, what's your input on corporate? All right, so obviously in snowboarding and skiing, there's some major corporations, Vail Resorts being one of them. And it's tough because with the, when Vail Resorts buys a ski resort, especially like a smaller end one, it, they, knew, they normally make it better. So that two-seater that's, fixed and super slow, well, they're gonna crush that. They're gonna put a six seater in and all of a sudden it's gonna be better. However, they're motivated and their decisions are made by money. And so like what's happening right now is Keystone had Area 51, one of the most epic train parks out there. Breckenridge had Freeway, which was like one of the most pro training grounds of all time. Well, those are getting shrunk and, and disappearing and 
they're cutting down the train parks because they don't make money and they cost money to make. And so like things that are the love of snowboarding are kind of getting put to the side just because it's, hey, like I know people love good parks, but it doesn't make money. So like we're going to put that away and we're going to do this where tiny ski resorts. And that's what I, I really notice when I go out to like Wisconsin or Minnesota or North Carolina. They're like, yo, this is all we got. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to put in a sick terrain park, Appalachian Mountain over half the mountain was like a terrain park, which is crazy. Uh, and, and they think, uh, and, and like, it's just cause it's for the love of the sports, the love of what everything is. So, um, really stoked on that. And then toasted buns dropped another dollar donation. Didn't type anything, but toasted dude. Thanks for the dollar. Um, Oliver said Steven's past is getting bought by Vale is a tricky one. Old lifts and trashy park could get fixed, but so much money ah that's the other thing too is if so Vale recently bought your ski resort and they didn't do anything it's probably because of covid like Vale's, i don't know if they're still getting hit but they got hit real hard uh with covid obviously i mean last year they had to close early and then with the registration re reservations and stuff people like return their passes and um everything like that so Vale's in a tricky spot but um overall they'll they'll eventually bounce back and yeah it's gonna get going What did you do before full-time snowboarding? Chips and hum hum chips and hummus. All right, chips and hummus. But what I did before, this is the coolest part about the channel is you can go back and watch it. So when I started the YouTube channel, I worked at Target. I was a logistics manager at Target. I ran the whole back room. I was in charge of uh, like all the replenishment um, and everything at the store. So like when the trucks would come in, I ran the team. I opened the store every day. Um, that's what I was doing at Target. And I was going snowboarding every day, 1230 to, to four. Like I'd go ride, um, and I was still, I was like stoked, but I mean, I, I preferred when I worked two to 10, but that was the job I had. So I had to, um, do that. Well, then this little guy that's been yelling at the screen, we decided to have. And, uh, so I went to the target and I was like, yo, like I'm ready for this promotion that like, I'm ready. You guys know I'm ready, all this stuff. And they wouldn't give me the promotion, which I mean, looking back at it, it's just, just the nature of working for a retail store they they promote certain ways and everything like that so i just didn't get that promotion so i had to leave so i left target and then i went and worked for frito-lay in season two frito-lay paid awesome but frito-lay was the most work i've ever done uh for somebody else and i hated it i was working my butt off i was still trying to do the youtube channel and i looked at my wife one day and i was like dude this is killing me like i hate this job because it's so much work all i do is get yelled at by other store managers because like i would order oh yeah I, I had my own warehouse where I'd order chips to, and then I would go to stores and order the chips for like Walmart, Target, uh, all the city markets. And if I ran out of chips, I ran out of chips, and then it all fell on me, and it just sucked. I hated it so much. It's a great job if you put everything into it, but I, in my head, I subconsciously, subconsciously knew that I was going to leave Target, do this free to lay thing, but then I want my end goal was to get to being a full time uh, content creator. And I don't want to say like I'm a YouTuber. I, want, I didn't want to be a YouTuber. I want to be a snowboarder. Like my whole goal, everything I've done in life is to snowboard, to be a snowboarder. Um, I wouldn't take promotions back in the day at Target because I wanted to snowboard and stuff. Um, and obviously, as you get older, you can't, you only do that for so long. But uh, so now that I now, but so I quit free to lay with 7,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? We just hit, I think, 56,000. So when I quit my job, I had 50,000 less subscribers. <laughs> It's, it's mind blowing. I, I don't recommend it. If you have 7,000 subscribers, don't quit your job. I just knew that if I bet on myself is, is, and cause I know my work ethic, I know who I am as a human. Um, and so I was like, okay, if I bet on myself, it's going to work out. And that's what I did. I, I went all in on me and I, I nonstop did self-development at self-education. I learned so much about business and everything. I changed as a human to be able to make this. And Sean Oz, who's in the chat, literally met me when I quit my job and, and Sean, Sean's has seen the work, so um, yeah, I worked my butt off to get to this spot, and now we're growing like crazy, and it's it's awesome. And baby number two is on the way, so we gotta get out of this apartment. Hey, no yelling, buddy. Ricky Bobby uh, says thanks for the advice. With he dropped a five dollar super chat, by the way. Ricky Bobby said, my lightning evolution, or 
by Lightning Evolution and what a nice guy sticker in the mail. Hoping to get it here by Saturday. Gotta rock them first time tomorrow. Dude, I hope they get there. Something about, something for you guys, or just so you know, if you order an evolution sticker, I have a mountain post office. So like, not only does my stuff gotta go from here to Denver to then go everywhere, but the mountain, uh, sorry, he's so hard with them. Uh, it's understaffed. Like we don't, like staffing up in Summit County is one of the hardest things. And so like, they, they're just slow. So my, my small little mountain post office is slow. So sometimes I'll, I'll put the stickers in. It might take two days just for it to get to Denver to then get to the normal shipping route and stuff. Jordan Brew with another $2 super chat. Dude. Thank you so much. Uh, my car rolled over she in she Eisenhower she Tunnel. She oh. she Dude, you're on your own, man. I-70, Eisenhower Tunnel. Good luck. Crazy, Roman. Why are you so crazy? Do you want to tell them a joke? I saw a joke. I a joke. You want to tell them a joke? I saw a joke. What did the snowman the snowman say to the other snowman say i snowman what smells like carrots yeah what what, what smells like carrots <laughs> guys thank you so much for letting roman what? bomb the the live stream i know so many you have your stickers uh i know so many of you uh you guys you say you love roman on the live stream you want to show them you having a baby sister? Having a baby sister. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, baby sister. Where is the baby right now? On the tummy. It's in mommy's tummy. Yeah, right here. And <laughs> and how big is your baby sister right now? Uh, baby sister is called a giraffe. What size is, is the size of a what? A squirrel. The baby sister is the size of a squirrel right now. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. That's amazing. Daddy, what's up here, Daddy? What's up where? Where's up here, Daddy? You want to go up there? Daddy's a dinosaur and my Roman dinosaur. You have a Roman dinosaur? Yeah. <laughs> Our boy Chuck Van just dropped a donation on, on Streamlabs. Thank you so much, man. Chuck Van dropped $5 on Streamlabs and he said, uh, my belated congrats on the pending arrival of the family. Very happy for you. On the daily grind, much respect. How much would you compare the difference of editing now from the first started? Time to finish and edit, quality of the videos, etc. Dude, Chuck, man, that's a great question. All right, let me get this guy to chill because I don't actually really want to answer this. Go You're being too goofy. Oh, go, go. go jump On the ground. Right there on the ground. The screwdriver. Go fix your snowboard. Okay. It's right there on the ground. All right, Chuck. So the difference between when I first started editing and the way I edit now is a lot. So when I first started editing, I would just bring the camera out. We film everything, but I would like, I didn't know what I wanted to film or how I wanted to film it. And but now, like I know what are good shots. Like I make better mental notes. So when I sit down with my raw footage, I kind of already know everything I want to edit and the whole story of the video. It's like already edited in my mind and then I just got to physically do it. It's not working? Yeah. Not the book is spin, daddy. Okay. Why don't you go show it to mommy see if mommy can help you? Yeah, I'm so smart. Um, the other thing is I'm much faster at it and I got a better computer. So something that you guys didn't know, is the first four years, literally to this season, this summer, I finally got a computer that wasn't a 2012 computer. I was editing on a, or a MacBook Pro that was a 2012, eight uh, gigabytes of RAM. That thing was so slow. I wasted and lost so much time because the computer couldn't keep up with the footage and I couldn't watch back. Literally season one through season, almost all of season four, I couldn't watch the edit. I would just edit and just know that I edited it well. And I like lined the music up and I could hear, I could hear the drop and stuff, but it would like lag and jitter. And like, I couldn't watch the edit um, cause I was editing on such an old computer. And so now I'm finally got a 
super nice laptop that is helping me edit better. And so that's a big, big deal too. And, but what I want to say with that story is if you have just your phone, you can do it. You don't have to, you don't need the nicest stuff out there because now I do it for a living. And because now I'm reaching a level of success and, and stuff like that, I can get this nicer computer for it, but I didn't have it for many, many years of my YouTube channel. Um, so don't, no, don't make excuses. It's, it's possible for anyone. I just started filming and editing and then here we are today. It's not working? Yeah. Say, mom. Mom. Nick Hill with a $5 donation, dude. Thank you so much, Nick. Says, yo, I'm so excited for summer camp and for Roman's new baby sister, Nick, dude. Thank you so much for the $5 donation and summer camp is gonna be insane. Um, I really hope everyone can, that wants to go to summer camp can make it to summer camp. Uh, can we see your pin collection? Soda clay, that's a great, I'm, I, I was looking online to get a board to start putting the pin collection. I want to show you guys the pin collection because it's actually getting pretty ridiculous. If you guys don't know, I collect a, a mountain pin at every single ski resort I go to. So um, it's getting up there. I do need to get some pins at some ski resort. I need to go back through like the ones I have and everything and make sure I have them all. Like I, I went to Eldora multiple times, but I never got an Eldora pin. So the last time I went to Eldora, I picked up an Eldora pin, stuff like that. So it's, it's stacking. I don't even know how many resorts we've been to. The resorts we're going to on the East Coast, I have it written down at my desk, but we're not at my desk tonight. We were hanging out with Roman. Um, Hunter, Jiminy Peak, and um, a really weird P name, pet, a, pet, pet something. Then we're gonna go to Stowe, Killington, um, can't think of them all. I don't know if Greg's in the chat or not, but uh, he knows the, all the names. Me and Greg got on the phone and we planned it all out. Oh, dude, Mr. Perry's in the house. What up, dude? Uh, when you first quit your job, did you use merch as your primary source of income? Chip, I 100% used merch. I also used my Patreon. So, I don't, I've been pushing it a bunch this year because it's hard because Patreon is such a, it was a way to get access to me and with COVID and everything, we're not doing group shreds. We're not doing the one-on-one -on -one shred days and stuff like that. So I'm not really pu pushing it too much, but big shout out to all my Patreons. You guys, I need, I need to get on it and, and, and I'm slacking on Patreon, but people are still supporting me on Patreon, but Patreon is how I did it. Um, everyone that supported me on Patreon and still supports me on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you guys, like hands down. The other thing, um, and that's a big thing too with like the members. So Robert Perry Skate in Snow has a little monkey next to his name and he's got a green name. Well, he's a member. All of the members are how I get to do this for a living as well. It's very similar to Patreon. It's YouTube's version of Patreon. Um, and it's just a, it's a guaranteed monthly income that I can use to know that like, yo, I got rents paid this month uh, and stuff like that. So if you want to become a member and you want to help support this channel, keep it growing and, um, Stuff like, things like that. Um, I'm gonna throw the membership link right here. If you wanna become a member, not if you, only if you do on a live stream, you get this big like party happens on the live stream, but um, that's how I do is members, Patreons, and then the stickers. Did you guys grab in stickers? And right now I have so many more stickers. I have, like literally behind me right now are rolls and rolls. These are already cut. Like these are black skier stickers. I gotta pick them, I gotta weed them. I got so much work to do. It never stops. Actually, it's only getting more and more work as we get bigger and bigger. Um, but people snagging the stickers was a huge way I was able to quit my job and and, and do it. So the worst part about the Packers losing, guys. Do you want to know the worst part about it? So I was not only like I think we had a good chance, but I ordered a bunch of vinyl. I was gonna make. Evolution Green Bay Packer stickers and I'm gonna drop them right before the Super Bowl and it was gonna be sick. Now I gotta wait till next year. All right, Greg, he is here. Greg, what up, my dude? All right, so Greg dropped the. Uh, he got you got Hunter, uh, Windham, uh, Bellary, Jimmy Peak, Stowe, Killington, Gore, and Whiteface. Those are all the mountains that we're going to on the East Coast. Hi, Roman. What's up? I want to get a washi out of me. 
Do you, you stop talking to friends? You want me to stop talking to my friends? Yeah, just say bye, friends and suckers. You want me? Oh, you want me to say see ya, suckers? Yeah. <laughs> I taught Roman how to say see ya, suckers. Yeah, All right. Thank you, suckers. Let's, we got to read this last donation and we'll, we can jump off the live stream. <laughs> Even though the live stream is popping and I'm love talking to you guys, we just got to get ready for this holiday show. If you, if you settle down, Dad, we get off quicker. So you got to settle down, okay? Just chill. <laughs> Hold on, you just gotta chill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw you, dude. Enough. To I'm gonna throw you, dude. I'm gonna throw you if you don't settle down. You better settle. <laughs> All right, John Friday with a five dollar uh, uh, super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. He says, got my evolution sticker today. Looks sick on this super DOA. My Offer always is available for you for your, to be your taxi when you come to PA. Check out Blue Knob. All right, John. I appreciate it. I'll keep you posted on that trip, man. Thank you so much for snagging an Evolution sticker, dude. I'm stoked that you got on your DOA. I need to, to ride that board, see how sick it is. People love it. Double check that I didn't miss any other donations. And then we're going to jump off this live stream because I actually got to pack. I got to get some edits done um, before leaving tomorrow. And obviously, I got to spend time with the family, so... Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this live stream. It was in the living room tonight, hanging out. Um, but you guys are incredible. Thank you for all those donations, guys. Thanks for everyone snagging uh, Evolution stickers and hoodies and t-shirts, all that stuff. And uh, all right, we're ready to say goodbye. Say thanks for watching. See you, suckers. See you, suckers. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.